Alright guys, Tanner 69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of uh, Tornado Survival. Season 7, episode what, 18? 18 sounds right, so we're going with it. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be working on the railroad some. Off camera, in a live stream several weeks ago, we uh, finished this. Two pathways, one going to the old base in the storage and farm, and this one going to the uh, spider farm. Um, two, two very nice railroad path, and like this, it has these here, except they split off eventually so that, you know, there's a gap in between the two. And that's what it's looking like. Before we get started, though, and I'll show you what we're doing today, we're going to go uh, check out this thing here. Kind of heading towards us. It should still go to the left of us if we're looking that way. You know, it should go over there. But we're going to check it out anyways, because... It just turned into a storm, or a tornado, apparently. <laughs> the more you know. Uh, let's check it out, I guess. Or not. <laughs> it's cool, I guess. Yep, there it is. If we go this way, we should be able to intercept it. This time we don't have to run to catch up to it, we can run in front of it. Alright, we'll get right about to this tree line here, and then we'll stop and uh, get a good view. Yep, right on the other side of this damage path here. We'll wait for it to come over the hill. Got some CGs here. Should go right there. Maybe. We might need to get closer. Yeah, we're going to have to get a little closer. It's going to pick up before we even get to see it. I need to I need to see it, though, because I need to make sure... That's not near the base of the storm. <laughs> I need to see if it's fixed. I've got it to pick up blocks again, I think. Show me your face, you nerd. Are you picking up blocks? Hello, tornado. God, where is it? It's going to pick up. Oh, man, it's already on the other side of this. It should not be that far away. Did you pick up? Tell me you didn't pick up. Okay, I think we're getting close. Oh, we can take this shortcut. Ah, there it is. Oh, this village is going to get hit. Oh, it is picking up blocks now. Okay, that's good. All right. We're getting a little close. We're fine. Yeah, that village is dead. Goodbye, village. It was nice knowing you. I think it's going to pick up just in time. Oh, you lucky rascals. Look at that, it did. It lifted. Oh, you all could have been in much more danger. This is the village that we stole everybody from. Alright, well that was close. <laughs> Let's check out this path of damage here. I'm guessing it went right about here. Yeah, it struggled. <laughs> Which, in its defense... It uh, it had some rocky terrain to go over. It had a very struggly path ahead of it if it was going to increase. Yeah, I didn't even pick up anything on this hill. Yep. Goodbye, tornado. You weakling. All right, I'll get back to the house and we'll start off the episode. Whee! Alrighty, guys. Now that we're back here at our railway, uh, I want to show you what we're gonna work on today. So we'll take a trip on our on our built railway here and I'll show you what it is that we are doing as you can see that's really split off there <laughs> hello um, it should be up ahead it's a pretty nice railway I've used this design before and so is minecraft it's just the abandoned mineshaft design but I like it alright so right here there's a junction 
between. Oh, you nerd. There's a junction between the village and the spider farm. And as you can see, we got the village right in here. We also got an iron golem to spawn, which is pretty cool. If I do say so myself. How you doing, villages? You doing alright? Did you breed any? I think that guy was kind of new looking. I haven't seen any breeding, but you never know. Alright. Anyways. <laughs> um, Alright, so we want this so we can be able to dictate which way it's going to go. How will we do this? Through the power of this red stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> First things first is we got to have control panels set up at the different spots. I oh, come on. Anyways, uh, let's grab this. One of those spots is going to be, of course, right here. And we're going to have to set it up right here. I don't know why this is here, but it's annoying. All right. Uh, we're gonna. So right, there will be buttons to be pressed right here. This line here will go down. We got torches, right? Yeah. Want to keep our thing here well lit? Excuse me. Gonna have to go down one more here. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> we'll take a sharp left right there. Spiders are spawning. Make sure this don't uh turn on. Oh, turn on. Dang it. This won't light, will it? No. Where are we? Ah, okay, so we got a ways to go here. Let's turn right here to make sure we hit it. Oh, oh okay. Good job, me. <laughs> so, yeah, we gotta have these lines of redstone. And basically, you know, when you power a redstone lead line leading into a railway, it will, uh, it would make it change directions, so... We're going to set a timer so that it'll do that. Um, let's hop into another world where I'll, I'll show you where I have a design set up for this. Um, here it is. <laughs> I know, kind of complicated looking. Um, this needs a pressure plate. Hold on. This is in. This was in the early stages of testing, and it doesn't entirely work. But it works. What? Did I not? Where's the line leading out of this? Alright, listen here. It works. I... Oh, right. I need a wooden pressure plate. Okay, look. This is minor complications here. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there we go. Changes directions, and then five minutes later, that'll despawn, and this will change back. But if we don't want it to respawn, we can just, uh... We can... Hit that button, and it'll go back. Is this not changing directions? Wait, that's the wrong button. All right, this has to. Anyways, it works. Trust me. See, aha, wow, and then you do that, and then just for some reason this doesn't eject a block after the second time, but I'm sure it'll work in my real world. We'll see. There's a light indicator and all that. It'll work. All right, believe me. <laughs> so the first thing we got to do, of course, to set this up, is we have to get a line of redstone. 
leading here. And we're really going to need two lines of redstone, aren't we? Alright, let's... I know how to do this. Wait. Alright, because this button here is going to go like that. Aha. Oh god. Okay, yeah. Hello, lag? Can you not? And we can just run these lines right next to each other. I forgot that it needs two lines to work. Yep, this will work. Alright, let's just make sure we don't get our lines entangled and we'll be fine. So I already dug out one of these line tunnels going to the farthest one, but this one just has to be set up too. This might end up being a multi-episode project just because... Aw, oh crap, I just broke that. Where did this go? <laughs> right here. Oh, God. Alright, we're going to have to dig another line going back there, too. But it's fine. So, what we need to do first is we need to set up the actual thing. So we got a dropper here. We got our wooden pressure plate. So we're just going to dig out an area under here so I can I can clearly see what I'm doing with plenty of space to do it. All right. So Yes. So if we just wait, if I put a pressure plate there and I put wiring there, yes. So that's that'll work. And then underneath, all right. Is this the thing? Yes. There will be a minecart track that goes from here to here that has a dropper that will pick them up and we'll dispense. All right, we'll, we'll put cobble in there. And we'll dispense accordingly. Okay. So this is the line that will, that will change the track's direction based, based on the dropper. So the dropper dispenses an item, the pressure plate detects it, and uh, that will be our first thing. What is it? Every eight blocks you put a put a repeater. We'll see here. For now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's. Hmm. Let's just see here. We'll just we'll guess. We'll make that our longest repeater gap here. How many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. We'll have thirteen blocks in between, and we will be able to tell if this works by a button that I do not have crafted yet. Okay, dispenser, did you dispense? Or dropper, did you drop? You know, same thing. Is 13 blocks enough? It did. Okay. Is there a block? Yeah, there's blocks. Okay, let's try a 14 block. Or let's just, let's go for gold. <laughs> we'll try 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks. I'm going to assume it's 15 because that would seem like a good number to use. 
All right, did it dispense. No, it did not. Okay. So let's back this baby up two blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nope, we want it to be fifteen. Because I guarantee you it's fifteen. Once I get this figured out, by the way, it'll go much more smoothly. Alright, come on, please tell me it dispensed. It did, it's 15. Okay, so uh, we're only doing this so I can save on repeaters because we're going to be using a lot <laughs> for this build and I don't want to burn through my entire redstone supply. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, that should dispense by all definitions of redstone and whatnot. Let's see if it does. All right, did you, uh, it did, okay. So let's go ahead and, you know, go ahead and, uh, do that. Does this work? We need another track right there, don't we? What the? Oh, yeah. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> no, nah, it did not work. Oh. Oh, God. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Major complications just appeared into Tanner's head. It's considering this the dominant one. We don't want that. Trust me. We just want to be able to go from the village back to the base because nobody's going to go from the spider farm to the village. Is it going to go in a three way pattern? Because that's problematic. Yeah, it is. Alright, so it's facing... Hmm. We don't want it to do that. <laughs> we want... We want it to be straight. Because look, it coming from that way. Okay, I guess this would work. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Alright, so, <laughs> let me wrap my head around this. Right now, as is, you're coming this way, you're going to go straight. You're going to go straight, All right? I'm pretty sure. Oh god, no. You're going to go straight. Coming from this way, you're going to go up. Alright. Coming from this way. Coming from this way, you're going to go that way. Okay. Switch. This way, you're going to go that way. This way, you're going this way. And if you came from this way, you're going to go back where you came from. That's fine. Because, wait, is it fine though? Right, because this way you're going to be going here anyways. 
Wait. We want this to be the... Wait, did I just... I just lost... A railway piece. A... What in the world? Okay. We want this to be the standard way. What happens if I power this? Okay, I'm an idiot. Let's try this again. Okay, if I power this, it'll go that way. If I don't, it'll go. Ugh, my head. Okay, when it's off, you're going straight and you're going here. But when you go back, you'll go up here and you don't want to do that. But when it's powered, you'll go straight. Okay, that means from this way, you need to power it. If you power this, you're going that way. It's powered. And you want to leave it powered. Because then you'll go this way. But if it's unpowered, you'll go this way. Is it possible to go every direction based on every possible way? So this way... Not powered, you're going up. Powered, you're going that way. Alright? This way, not powered, going that way. Powered, you're... Okay. You're going up. Alright? This way... Are there zombies in here? They're just above. Okay, this way... This way, not powered, you're going that way. Powered, you're going. Oh, okay, that makes sense. We just got to figure that out. All right, three hours later, Tanner figured out the stupid thing here. Didn't we just do this? Why did I? All right, man, I should edit that out because that was sad. It was very, very sad. Okay. All right, so yeah, we need to run the line. <laughs> okay. Tanner is entirely sure of what he is doing. Do not worry. Need a torch down here. Alright, we're just going to run the lines this episode. And then next episode we'll finish this thing up. Because, God, we're, we're already running out of time. Where is this? Wait, I don't care. I can, because either way I can do this. Wow, this, this was way more complicated than it needed to be. It has been a very, very long week, okay? I am a senior, I am making college decisions, and my brain hurts. So cut me some slack. <laughs> so this should be... Give or take... Where we need to be? Hello? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. This this makes sense. Total and perfect sense. Okay, let's get the cords of this place up here. We are struggling. I did not think this would take that long. Okay, first of all, our panel's gonna have to be right here. Where's this witch? Oh my gosh, I'm so jumbled right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to move this up one. Let's do that now. Because these two have to be buttons. Thank you. Okay, so. Is 
has to be that. And then we're going to have to dig straight down for a while here. And let's grab the cords of our of our tunnel. And it's daylight. Uh, this is 50. 50. Okay, so that's a very good guess by me. <laughs> okay. And I nailed it. Except make this go over some. Okay. Put a torch in here. Block that off. <laughs> Don't care about that anymore. Don't care about that anymore. All right. Now we get to go back to placing redstone wire. We've almost done enough wiring for me to consider this a successful episode. Was this 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 Screw it. 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. Okay. Wait, we don't know this. Alright, we're about to have every single position wired up to the, um, uh, to the thing. That's impressive. Good job, me. And we're lagging. Alright. Let's see, 22 minutes. It's going to be about a 35 minute episode. I would like to get most of this done. The more we get done, the easier it is on me. <sighs> Do not want any mobs spawning in here. Oh, wait. No, we, I, I planned this out. I don't need any torches. Okay. I don't know if we're going to have enough repeaters to get me to the other side, but we'll try. Okay. Is this is this configured right? No, because we need two buttons. This is gonna have to go underneath, right? Whatever, we'll figure it out later. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, the perfect amount of repeaters. Okay, 57, yeah, okay, we'll be able to tell. Let's ride back, hit the button, and we'll see if it works.
It works! Yippee! Okay, so now we just gotta dig out two more wire lines for every direction because we have to, uh, this has to send out a mm -hmm. <laughs> bad news. It has to send out a signal to every direction. Meaning has to go one has to go that way, that way, and that way because it has to have a light signaling which way this track is pointing. So there'll be a light, probably a button here, a button here. We'll probably put a light up top. So more digging, more of that. Yay. Um, for now, though, I am happy that this works. This doesn't need to go that way. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I guess we could just go underneath this. We could. Oh, God, lag. So I'll dig this one out by, I'll, I'll put a hole at the bottom of each stairwell and I'll know to start digging up. Then this one, I'll go that way and I'll probably send it off this way. Okay, just trying to get my wire figured out here. And then that'll be the signal it's a signal line going from that. We also need a line going into into a minecart track here. We need a dropper for that and a minecart. So let's let's get that set up and then I'll end the episode and then in the next episode, I'll probably finish the wiring off camera. So that, or I'll dig the tunnels for the wiring off camera. That way, in the next episode, we can do a grand reveal of if it works or not. There'll be plenty of content for a live stream too, so there you go. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to assume it's not going to work right away, so I'm going to plan accordingly for that. <laughs> Let's go upstairs here. Do we have the required materials for this? I know we don't have a dropper. We're probably going to need another minecart, too. Let's craft that right here. We need to... Let's do the minecart first. And then this. Okay, and then we'll just ride to the other base here. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is probably one of the hardest projects I've done in this world, for sure. I'm, I can't think of any other project I did that was super hard. We did the farm, the spider farm, and the uh, the food. But other than that, this is this is pretty much it. <laughs> and if this works, it'll be incredible. So hopefully it does. It does work first try. That would be great. Definitely gonna have to release this video on Wednesday because it's just not gonna be able to come out on uh, on Tuesday. Today is when I'm recording it. But if you can't tell, this is taking quite a significant amount of time. Okay. Let's go into here. Stone. Get out of me inventory. Where's the ores? There you go. We do need a little bit of stone. Um, transportation. We do have enough. Grab another minecart. 
just in case. All right, <laughs> let's try this. Here we go. I think we need more wood. I'll go grab some from the chest and then we'll go. It's not like it matters. We could connect this railway with the other railway, but that would just be entirely too complicated. Maybe around episode 50 we'll, we'll take a gander at that idea. Once I have my entire castle built and everything, we'll be like, Oh, let's do some nostalgic stuff and work on this railway that took so many episodes. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least you all have seen both railways now that I've had to go to both bases here. Hello, nighttime. Give me this wood. Actually, just need a chest and wood. Let's sleep. Why not? <coughs> oh God! All right, Tanner, edit that sneeze out. Thank you. I'll totally do that. And if you're watching this and I didn't edit the sneeze out, it's my fault and blame me entirely. Oh. Nice. Which where, where is this going? Away? Okay. I guess I need to chase this. We'll do it from this place. I'm finishing this first. Alright, one last minecart ride. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so underneath here, this always has to be powered. Is that a line? No. So we need a torch there. Minecart, oh my god, minecart there. That there. This there. So in theory, let's block this up. Okay, so we're going to swing this around. Um <laughs> Our wires are going to get messy here. Yeah. That's fine. Let's we need a torch. And do this. Give me that back. We need a button, actually. That's strange. It'll be fine, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, let's, uh... Ooh, Tanner's set it off. Oh no, look, the thing is. Thing is on, right? Alright. Oh, we went to our destination. Blah, blah, blah. We're at our destination. We want to uh, change the railway back. And uh, that did it. That picked up the block, that changed it back, and it works. Good. So now, everything works in theory. I just have to get the wiring work. Okay, good. That also set off a block. I was concerned it wouldn't do that, but it did. One last thing is I want to do this because I know if I don't, I'll never bother to do it again. In the f wow. That just had to do that. Had to be gravel. Had to be. All right, because... Oh, wait. Because this will fill up one day and I'll have no idea why. I'll be like, what is my stupid thing broke? And I need another hopper. Brought a crafting table for this reason. Alright. 
right. Build this thing. Because we got to have another hopper minecraft. Minecart. Yes. All right. Okay, now if that fills up one day, whatever. That's going to be uh, quite a few. Bl the dispenser should empty before that fills up, so. There's your, uh, there's the prototype of this. We've got all the wiring done. This is an over 40 minute episode. <laughs> Let's check the radar, though. An F3. Nice. I knew I'd miss something good. I guess we'll chase it since it's the end of the episode. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's gone. This thing is gone. We should be able to see where it wiped out at. Might have taken out this village. This might be a rest in peace for this village up here. We'll see. Hopefully our village is still okay. Oh, it's a good thing I messed up everything with that wither and messing with the config settings, but it's fine. The world's not totally broken. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go. F3's over here. Nice. I'm kind of running towards the village here because I care more about seeing if the village is okay over if the uh, tornado's there. Well, we know the tornado exists. I'm trying to see a damage path for it. There isn't one. It appears the village is okay, though. There's a temple there. Where in the world did this touch down at? I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not seeing a damage path. I wonder if it only picks up blocks if you're in the chunk. Look, one of those useless things. I mean, yeah, there it is, but it's weird, man. I don't know the damage path of it. That's uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Sorry for it being so long. I um, uh, we got a lot done though. We'll finish up that project in the next episode. Um, sorry if it was really confusing, too, to understand what was actually going on. <laughs> but it uh, it worked out. That's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all later. Bye. Ooh, CGs.